Hey, everybody. How does this thing work? Okay. So uh, I did a little workshop on gesture design. Um, first thing we started off with was, well, wanted to go back to basics and wanted to go deep into basics. And we looked at what is interaction design. And that interaction design is very activity-centered. We need to understand the activities, the context for what we're designing for in order to move forward. We need to understand how those activities will mediate the relationships between people and how the artifacts we create, the interactions, the interfaces, aid in that. We talked about what is a gesture, that it needs to be direct, clear, needs to, have, um, unam needs to be unambiguous, and you do so through your hands. Finally, uh, next, not finally, um, what makes a good gesture? Because we can all make a gesture, but what makes it good? That it's contextually relevant, it's unambiguous, it's natural, and it's ergonomic. And then, how do we design them? How do you design a gesture? Well, you need to act them out. It's really the only way that you can design a new gesture. It's the only way that you can use existing gestures and see how they will work applied to your specific context. If I was designing an interface, let's say for a mobile health device that I've never worked in that context before, the only way that I can do so is by working with people in that context to act it out and understand how it goes. And we need to go back to basics in order to do that. Whenever we're working within a new context with novel interactions, you need to go back to the basics. You need to go back to start. And, but there's also something else going on here. It is novel, it is new, and it requires us to reevaluate the aesthetics that come across because of these new interaction models. I know what a mouse click is. I know how that reacts, but do I really understand how a swipe across a touch screen is going to be? Do I really understand how moving my body in a certain way with a connect interface is going to end up feeling when I do that? And there are certain premises that I've looked at with this, and it goes for what is the difference between a fluid interaction versus a more precise interaction, whether I'm going up or I'm pressing in, whether I have buttons or handles. These make a big difference in terms of how we feel using these things. And like I said, it's back to basics, and I really want people to think about these five E's, and these are the five E's of design as far as I'm concerned. You have experience, exploration, envision, evaluate, and then you finally execute. And you need to go through each step, and you can't skip any of them. And that's all. Thanks. <laughs>